Hello, Angel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Angel, how are you? Uh, I like. That's great. Welcome to the class. Who was your day today? How was your day today? Mm. ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Magnífico. Excellent, magnífico, perfect. Okay, that's great. See, this was awesome. A very good day. Hello, Carlos Mauricio. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Um, so. So, so. Ah, okay. Okay. And Manuel. Hello, Manuel. Good evening. Welcome again to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, excellent. Excellent, you're excellent. Okay, that's great. How was your day, Manuel? How was your day? Um, was your uh, day at the very, very, very good. Ah, it, <laughs> was very good. <laughs> it was very good. That's excellent. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. So yesterday we were studying months and dates. Studying months and dates yesterday. So do you remember some of the months? Which is the fourth month, for example? What is the fourth month of the year? Months of the year, do you remember then? What is the fourth? The fourth month of the year is? Is it January, February, March, April, June, July, August? What is the fourth? What is the fourth month of the year? We studied that yesterday. Do you remember that? Angel, Manuel, and Carlos? April. April, yes, April is the right answer. And what is the 11? What is the 11 month? November. November. November is, yes, you're right. And we also study the answer for the question, when is your birthday? What is the answer? When is your birthday, Carlos? Please. When is your birthday? My birthday. Yes, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on August 20. Okay, 20th, 20th. 20. Okay, excellent, Carlos, very good job. And Angel, Angel Portillo, when is your birthday? Your microphone, turn on your microphone, Angel. Uh, my birthday is on July 27th. Okay, excellent. My birthday is on July 27th. Perfect. And Manuel, when is your birthday, Manuel? Teacher, estaba desconectado ahorita, pues vengo llegando al trabajo y no. No he estado atento a la clase. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, nice. But we studied this yesterday, ok? Uh, the answer for when is your birthday is my birthday is on, then you say the month and the date. Ok, that's great. So, Cabo, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening, coach. So, tonight we're going to study, uh, going to... We are going to study future sentences using the going to. So what are your plans for your next weekend? 
Do you have any plan for the next weekend? Anyone has a plan for the next weekend? Ya tienen planes para el próximo fin de semana? What are you going to do the next weekend? ¿Alguien ya tiene planes para el próximo fin de? No. No yet. Yes. Yes. Okay. What are you going to do? Um, are you going to the movies? Are you going to visit your grandparents or your parents? Va a ir a visitar a los abuelos, a sus padres. Um, are you going to go shopping? Va a ir de compras. Y movies. Y movies. Ah, okay. You are going to Mario watch Bros. movies. Ah, you are going to watch Mario Bros. movie. Okay, that is a great movie. I have already seen that. And it's very good. And now let's see, are you going to clean your house? Are you going to clean your house next weekend? Les va a tocar limpiar la casa el próximo fin de semana? Uh, are you going to cook next weekend? Are you going to cook? No. Les, to les no. toca cocinar el próximo no. fin de semana? No. No, not really? Uh, no. no, what about work? Are you going to work next weekend? ¿A quién le va a tocar trabajar el próximo fin de semana? Nobody is going to work. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, welcome again to this English class. Thank you so much for being here tonight. So, let's start with tonight's topic. I'm really happy to see you again, guys. So today we are going to study the uh, the future tense we're going to write. We are going to learn how to make sentences to talk about our plan for the next weekend or for the future. So let's start with this topic tonight. El día de hoy vamos a aprender verdad hacer oraciones para hablar acerca de nuestros planes uh, para el próximo fin de semana o para el futuro ¿verdad? en general. So Let's start with this. Let me share with you the presentation yeah. for tonight. And the topic is the future we're going to. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Good evening, Marixa. Is Okay, Raúl Edgardo Robles, I understand, okay? I have the you recover very soon. So, let's see. The future will be going to, so let's start. Look at the following guy here. Here we go. Uh, but before we go to the topic, I have a review for you. Uh, let's see. When is Halloween? When is Halloween? Yesterday, we studied dates and month. So, when is Halloween? When it's Halloween. Halloween is on October. Okay, excellent. Halloween is in October or Halloween is on October. What is the date? Halloween is on October. Okay, excellent, Angel. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, 31st. And let's see the second. When is Women's Day? When is Women Day? Women's Day is on March 8th. March 8th. Okay, we are going to discover the answer later. Let's see number three. When is the day of the cross? My third. My, My three, third. Three, three more. Three months. Okay. Three. Okay. Um, very good try. Thank you so much. So the day of the cross is on May three or third. Three. Three. Are you sure? 
Yesterday we learned that the four days we use uh, ordinal numbers and it's a third, so May 3rd. And let's see the next one. Number four, when is the Labor Day? May 3rd. Okay, May 3rd. And when is All Souls Day? When is All Souls Day? My 7th. Mm, my 7th? November. November. Yes, it is in November. You're right. Two. Sorry, teacher. Two. November, Two. November second. second. Okay, excellent. November the second. Thank you so much. And let's see when is the National Pupusa Day in El Salvador. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know when is the National Pupusa Day? Oh, you are going to know tonight. And let's see number one. Halloween is on October 31st. Women's Day is on March 8th. You were right. The Day of the Cross is on May 3rd. Labor Day is on May 1st. Also, Day is on November 2nd. And the National Pupusa Day is on November 14th. Okay. So... Do you like pupusas a lot? Yeah, I love it. Yes, I like it. Okay. What is your favorite pupusa ingredient? Mm. Ayote, loroco. ¿Cuáles pupusas le gustan más? Bean with cheese. Cheese. Beans with cheese. Okay, that's great. Uh, chicken pupusas. Do you like chicken pupusas? No, really. No, I like it. No? Okay, that's great. So, it's days, right? Uh, that was yesterday's topic. Now, let's start with today's topic. So, weekend plans. Uh, I asked you before, do you have any plans for the weekend? Oh, Raul Edgardo say jalapeño pupusas, chili pupusas. Um, I guess they are delicious, right? I haven't tried it, but I guess they are delicious too. So weekend plans. Uh, antes de comenzar la clase, les preguntaba si tenían planes para el futuro. Do you have weekend plans? ¿Ya planearon algo para el fin de semana? O todavía no nos recuperamos de las vacaciones. <laughs> Se nos fue el presupuesto on vacation. So, very good. So, look at this guy. This guy has the following plans. And he says, let me see here. I am going to go to the beach. Uh, I am going to go to the movies. I am going to go to a picnic. I am going to have a party. I am going to have a barbecue. I am going to do some housework. And I am going to do some yard work. These are his plans for the next weekend. So I am going to go to the beach. I am going to go to the movies. I am going to go to a picnic. I am going to have a party. I am going to have a barbecue. I am going to do some housework. And I am going to do some yard work. So, any volunteer to read sentence number one? I am going to go to the beach. Anybody? No, teacher. Okay, Alejandra Maria, thank you. I'm going to go to the beach. Thank you so much. And the second? Any volunteer to read the second example I'm here? I'm going to go to the movies. Excellent. I am going to go to the movies. The next one, number three, I am going to go to a picnic. I am going to go to the picnic. I am going to the picnic. Okay, number four. I am going to the party. Okay, I am going to have a party. Thank you. The next one, barbecue. I am going to have a barbecue. To have the barbecue, I am going to do some I am going to do some housework and finally number seven. 
I am going to do some job. Okay, I am going to do some yard work. Me va a tocar trabajar en el patio. I am going to work um, some yard work to cut the grass, to plant a tree, to water the plants, something like that, right? And do you like plants? Do you have a garden at home? Yes, I like. Ah, okay, that's great. Do you have a garden? Do you have a garden? Yes, I have a garden. Ah, okay, that's great. Very good. So let's go with this. Her weekend plants. Now let's talk about her weekend plans. Those planes de ella. To talk about her weekend plans, we're going to use she is. She is going to. If the plans are my plans, I'm going to say I'm going to. I'm going to water the plants. I'm going to work. So I am going to. If the plans are here, si son para ella, we are going to use she is. So she is going to listen to music. That is a great plan, right? She's going to listen to music. She is going to visit her relatives. She is going to go to the countryside. She is going to paint her house. She is going to watch a movie with, with whom? With her friends. So she is going to watch a movie with her friends. Uh, okay, five plans. She is going to listen to music. She is going to visit her relatives. She is going to go to the countryside. What is countryside? Do you have an idea? What is the meaning of this word, countryside? El campo. Excellent. Yes, thank you. El campo. She is going to go to the countryside and she is going to paint her house. And she is going to watch a movie too. So, any volunteer to read her plans, her weekend plans? The five sentences, please. Any volunteer? Who wants, who wants? If no volunteers, I'm going to do somebody. So, one, two, three, four, five. Alguien que salve al grupo? Alguien que salve la clase? Anybody wants? Ah, thank you, Alejandra Maria Lemos. Can you please read the sentences? She is going to listen to music. She is going to visit her relatives. She is going to go to the countryside. She is going to paint her house. And she is going to watch a movie with her friends. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. What about the second one? She's going to visit her relatives. ¿Qué plan es este? Any volunteer who wants to tell me? Help me with that. Relatives, what is the meaning of this word? Familiar. Going... Okay, excellent. She's going to visit her relatives. Va a visitar a sus familiares. Uh, do you like listening to music? Do you like listening to music? No, I don't like it. Ah, okay. So you say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Let's go to escuchar música. Do you like this music? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ah, okay. Marvin, Marvin says, no, I don't. And Carmen Elena says, yes, I do. Carmen, what is your favorite music? Um, My favorite music is um, the rock. Okay. Very interesting. And we almost anybody. A nadie más le gusta la música. Come on. My yes. favorite. My favorite is los 80. Okay, 80s. Okay, music from the 80s. That's great. They are very good songs, right? Of that period of time. Thank you so much, Manuel. Anybody? My favorite music, rock and roll. Rock and roll, okay. That's right. That is a great music to dance. Thank you, Carlos Mauricio. And can you dance rock and roll? Hmm. <laughs> and say, yes, teacher. I am the best rock and roll dancer music. Very good. Now, let's see. Are you going to listen to music? 
¿Van ustedes a escuchar música el próximo fin de semana? ¿Are you going to listen to music the next weekend? Yes. Ok, dice, yes, I am. O oh, no, I not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ok, that's great. So, let's go with the next. His weekend plans. Los planes de él. His weekend plans. Then, to talk about his weekend plans, we are going to use... He is going to, look at the first one. He is going to go swimming. He is going to play soccer. He is going to go dancing. He is going to go dancing. He is going to eat with family. Okay, excellent. He is going to eat out with his family. And also he is going to go bowling. Okay, five plans. Uh, those are his weekend plans. Number one, he's going to go swimming. He's going to go swimming to the swimming pools or to the lake or to a river or to the beach. He's going to play soccer, probably with his friend, right? Uh, he is going to go dancing. He is going to eat out with his family and he's going to go bowling. What is the meaning of the last one? Go bowling. Bowling? Bolos. Ah, boliche. okay. Very good. Boliche, right? He's going to go to the boliche. El va a jugar boliche. Uh, have you ever tried this game? ¿Han jugado alguna vez? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. No. ¿Cómo les fue? ¿Tienen buena puntería o se fue en el canalito de la par? <laughs> ¿Cuántas chuzas pudieron hacer? Ninguna. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> Tenemos que ir otra vez a practicar. Uh, ok, go bowling. Cuando oigo esa palabra boliche, solo me recuerdo de Pedro. ¿Se acuerdan de Pedro Picapiedra? Yes, y, sus, y sus escapadas para irse a jugar. <risa> ok, so he is going to go swimming. Okay, any volunteer to read the five sentences, please? Any volunteer? Today, do you want to participate? Come on, let's do it. I'm sure that you can. Uh, thank you, Gabo. Thank you so much. Okay, he's going to go swimming. He's going to play soccer. He's yes. going to go dancing. He's going to eat out with his family. He's going to go bowling. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation. Congratulations. So let's continue with this. Uh, play soccer. Do you like soccer? Do you like soccer? Yes, I like. Okay. Yes, I like. Yeah, that's great. Uh, ¿Están contentos el día de hoy por los partidos y quién ganó? No. No, 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 no. Sí, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's continue then. Ya no les digo a qué equipo les voy porque. Sí, sí, se diga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's see their weekend plans. Los planes de ellos. Their weekend plans. To talk about their weekend plans, <laughs> we are going to say they are going to. They are going to visit El Salvador. They are going to Ilopango Lake. They are going to visit El Salvador. They are going to go hiking to Cerro Verde. And the next, they are going to eat pupusas as los planes de renderos. So those are day plans. Ellos, they are going to visit El Salvador. They are going to go to Ilopango Lake. They are going to visit the zoo. They are going to go hiking to Cerro Verde. And they are going to eat pupusas at Los Planes de Render. Uh, is it true that pupusas at Los Planes are really delicious? Yes. Very delicious. Oh, yes, they are. Nice. Uh, do you like to go to Ilopango Lake? To eat the pesca? No. No, not really. 
Yes, teacher. No. Okay. And what about the zoo? Do we still have a zoo in El Salvador? Do we still have a zoo in El Salvador? Tenemos, tenemos todavía zoológico en El Salvador. No, teacher. No, teacher. There is no. Okay. There is no a zoo. And what about Pureza, I guess? Pureza. Have you ever heard about that place? Yes. Pureza. Ah, okay. Pureza. I have heard that there are so many animals there. But I'm not pretty sure about that. And they are going to go hiking to Cerro Verde. Do you like to go to the mountain? Yes. Yes? Okay. Do you enjoy uh, climbing, right? Or hiking? Hiking in the mountain. ¿Cuántos volcanes han escalado ya? One, only two. Okay. One, two. Okay, that's nice. Wow. Nice. Wow. One, Salco. okay. Okay, el de Salco. Okay, yes. uno de los más bonitos. One of the most beautiful in El Salvador. Santa Ana Volcano. Santa Ana. Y ahora vamos de Boquerón. In San Salvador Volcano. Ah, okay, that's great. Esos dos me faltan todavía, but it's cool. The next year, or this one at the end of this year. So let's continue. So their plans, they are going to. They are going to. And now let's see how to make sentences then. Como hacer oraciones para hablar acerca del futuro using the going to. We are going to follow this structure. Yes? <clears throat> Hello, I couldn't listen to you. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat? Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, so how to make sentences to tell about our future plans? We are going to need a subject, then we are going to need the verb, then the <clears throat> structure going to plus the main verb, plus a complement. So like the following example, I'm going to study English. I am going to study English. Here yes. the, subject, the subject is I'm, the verb is an, then we have going to, the verb is study, and the complement is English. And I have the question, sorry, the sentence. And I have the sentence, I am going to study English. Let's see, you are going to stay at home. You, right, you are going to stay at home. Tú estarás en casa. Let's see the next one. He is going to go to the gym. He's going to go to the gym. She is going to play video games. And finally, we are going to do yoga. Let's see if I have another one. They are going to dance cumbia. So, and one, two, three. In the fourth sentence, what is the subject? What is it? I. Okay, in the first sentence, yes. Ah, it is in the fourth, I. she. Yeah. She, right? Okay, thank you. What is the verb in the four sentences? What is the verb? Play. Play in the complement there. Video game. Game. Video, Video games. games. Yes, Video you games. Can, right. So it's kind of easy. Do you have any question about how to make sentences with going to? Those are affirmative sentences, right? I mm, estoy afirmando que I am going to study English. Yo estudiaré inglés. You are going to stay at home. Tú estarás en... En casa. casa. He is going to go to the gym. El irá al gimnasio. She is going to play video games. And then we, have, we are going to do yoga. So affirmative sentences. Anyone of you to read this example? Hey. <clears throat> Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Uh, Jose, me, say your name, please. Me, Mauricio. Ah, okay, thank you, Mauricio. I'm going to study English. You are going to stay at home. You are going to go to the gym. You are going to play video game. We are going to do yoga. They are going to dance cumbia. Okay, excellent. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Excellent pronunciation. Thank you for your help. Now let's go to the next. Uh, don't forget about this structure, right? So it's really important. Uh, how to make questions? Como hacer preguntas? Easy. We are going to change the verb at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, then we are going to write the subject. Then going to the main verb of the sentence, the complement, and finally the question mark. Uh, so in questions, the verb B is at the beginning of the question. Then we write the subject, going to the verb, the complement, and the question mark. Let's see, for example, look at this one. Are you going to have a birthday party? Is she going to go dancing tonight? Is he going to clean his room? Are we going to do exercise? Are they going to listen to music? So all of them are questions. Are you going to have a birthday party? Is she going to go dancing tonight? Is he going to clean his room? Are we going to do exercise? Are they going to listen to music? So now let's see, here are the answers. Short answer for these questions. In one, two, three. Okay. What is the right question for number one? Are you going to have a birthday party? In qué letra está la respuesta correcta? In which letter is the right answer? She is. Little C. Okay. Little C. Letter C. Yes. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Those are the possible answers for the first question. What about the second one? Is she going to go dancing tonight? I am. Letter D. Letter D. Uh, letter D. Letter D. Oh, yes, you're right. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. What about number three? Is he going to clean his room? Letter A. Letter A. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Thank you. And what about number four? Are we going to do exercise? Letter E. Letter E. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Yeah. Perfect. And the last one, are they going to listen to music? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B, thank you. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Awesome. Thank you so much for your answer. Now, let's see. Let's go with the next exercise. Let's practice in this exercise. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, question number one. Are you going to cook next weekend, Marlon Guzman? Are you going to cook next weekend? No, teacher. No, I am, I am not. Excellent answer. Thank you. No, I am not. Uh, Carlos Mauricio, are you going to cook next weekend? No, I am not. <laughs> ah, okay. Tell me, are you going to cook next weekend? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Say, let me say, every day, teacher, I have to cook every day. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, Maritza, are you going to cook next weekend? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Gabo, are you going to cook next weekend? No, I am. No, I am not. Okay, no, excellent. Not. Hey, Carlos David, are you going to cook next weekend? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, and what about you, Alejandra? Alejandra Maria, are you going to cook? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Okay, let's go with the second question. Are you going to go shopping next weekend? I have money. I don't have money. Is <laughs> <laughs> I want, but I don't have money. Okay, that's great. So let's go with uh, um, Carmen Elena. Are you going to go shopping next weekend? Mm, maybe. Oh, maybe. Okay. No. She has money. Okay. <laughs> 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 Let's go with Manuel Fabian. Are you going to go shopping next weekend? Not sure. Okay, say no, I am not. 
Oh, Ana Lucia, are you going to go shopping next weekend? No, I am not. Ah, okay, excellent. Let's go to the next one. Number three, next question. Are you going to eat out next weekend? ¿La van a invitar a comer el próximo fin de semana? ¿Va a salir a comer? Okay, let's go with... Oh, lo van a invitar a comer. Marlon Guzmán, are you going to eat out next weekend? No. No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, excellent. And what about you, Harold? Harold Montano, are you going to eat out next weekend? Harold, hello, good evening. He must be busy right now. So let's go with Marvin Alexander. Marvin, are you going to eat out next weekend? No, I am not. Okay, no, you aren't. Okay, that's great. Let's go with question number four for you. Are you going to visit a touristic place? Are you going to visit a touristic place next weekend? No, I'm not. No, you aren't. Okay, that's great. Um. I'm sorry, what happened here? Um, da, 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 let's go with Melissa Morales. Are you going to visit a touristic place in El Salvador next weekend? Uh, no, I am not. No, you aren't. Okay, that's great. Let's go with number five. Are you going to go to a birthday party? Anybody? Are you going to go to a birthday party? Yes, I am, teacher. No, okay. I am not, teacher. No, you aren't. Bueno, nos traen pastel el lunes, los que vayan a la fiesta. Are you <laughs> going? Let's see number six. There is number six. Yes, there is. Are you going to work next weekend? Oh, that is a sad question. Es una pregunta triste. Are you going to work next weekend? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, yes, I am. No, I am not. No, oh, Marlon is going to be at home next weekend. That's great. Anybody is going to rest next weekend? Alguien más descansa la fin de semana? Me, Mauricio. Ah, yes, okay, I am. excellent, Mauricio. Great. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your weekend. So, let's see. Um... Da -da -da. Any volunteer to ask the question? Veamos quién responde más rápido. Un voluntario para preguntar. Number one. Me, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio. Are you going to cook next weekend? Okay, y los demás respondemos. Cook? A ver quién es el primero que responde Are las preguntas de Mauricio. Vamos, cara. Mauricio, una vez más. Number one, please. Are you going to cook next weekend? Yes, I am. No, okay, no. Carmen Elena llevó un punto. Contestó antes que los demás. Very good. The second, Mauricio, please. Are you going to go shopping next weekend? I know. I am I not. Ah, okay. Punto para todos. No puede ver quién contestó <laughs> primero. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you going to eat, are, are you going to eat out next weekend? No, I know. No, okay, I know. Marvin. Marvin was the first one in the third one. Number four, please, Mauricio. Are you going to visit it, a tourist place? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay, yeah. Cabo. Cabo, it was the first one. Uh, number five. Are you going to go? Are you going to go to Brady Brady party? Yes, no, I, I am. Not. Ah, okay, it was Ana Lucia. Thank you. And the last one. Are you going to work next weekend? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I am. No, okay, I am. It was, <laughs> bueno, fue un empate de todos. But, okay, it was a draw. <laughs> Very good job. Thank you so much. So, questions, right? Let's go. Let's continue practicing and scramble the following words. Ahora sí, vamos a ver quién es más rápido. ¿Quién me dice la oración correcta? Number one, can you please tell me the right sentence? 
Pizza. Ah, okay, excellent. I am going to buy a pizza. Very good. The second. She is going to to No. 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 Remember that is a question. Going to a party birthday. A birthday party. Okay, it's a question. It's a question. We have a question. Is she going to have a Okay. Okay. Let Let us stand. I will give you a point for the one who write on the chat the, the correct sentence. Let's see. Write on the chat the correct sentence. Let's start with number one. Send your answer on the chat. Write on the chat, please. I have buy. I go into a uh, um and pizza. So let's see who is the first one. And the first one is everybody writing on the chat the right answer for number one. And sentence number one is okay, I have one answer. <laughs> and Alejandra Maria, I am going to buy a pizza. Congratulations, Alejandra. Yes. That is the right answer. I am going to buy a pizza. Let's go with the second one. Let's see who has the second. All right on the chat. Boy. <clears throat> Boy. I am pizza. Okay. Uh, number one, the answer is I am going to buy a pizza. That is the answer for number one. What about the second one? Ah, okay, I have two answers. Carmen Elena. Veamos. Okay, Carmen Elena, is she going to have buy a pizza? Oh, oh that is not the right answer for the second one. Marilyn Guzman, is she going to have a birthday party? <laughs> Yes, you have the right answer. Congratulations, Marlon. That is the right answer for the second one. Let's go with number three. The third one, I have the word are decorate for party we going to end. So what is the right sentence? That is an affirmative sentence. ¿Quién ya la tiene? Levante su manita virtual y me dice... What is the right answer? Raise your virtual hand and tell me the answer. Number three. Number, number two or number three? The third one, number three, number three. We are going to the decor for party. Okay, we are going to decorate for the party. Thank you so much. We are going to decorate <clears throat> for the party. And on the chat, we have a winner too. Marvin Alexander, we are going to decorate for the party. Excellent. That is the right answer. Thank you so much. And let's see number four. I have the word gene. They going to are go to they. And I have the question mark. So it means that this is a question. This one is Teacher, a puedo decirla, no puedo escribir. Okay, Ahorita. Carmen, tell me, tell me, no problem. Are they going uh -huh. to um, go to the gym? Excellent. Are they going to the gym? Are they going to the gym? Thank you. And number five is a question too. Is Mari? he... Uh -huh. Tell me. Marlon, tell me. Okay, teacher. Oh. Is, is he going to study English? Yes, you are right. That is the right answer. Is he going to study English? And the last one, who has the last one? 
Pachu. Are you going to work weekend? Work next weekend? Are you going to work next weekend? Okay, let's check your answer in the next slide. Let me show you. Ta -ta -ta. I'm sorry, I don't have the answer. Yes, I have it. So number one is I am going to buy a pizza. Number two, is she going to have a birthday party? Number three, we are going to decorate for the party. And number four, are you going to go to the gym? Number five, is he going to study English? And the last one, are you going to work next weekend? Great, thank you so much for your help in this part. Do you have any question about how to make sentences using the going to? Questions, questions? This is the moment. Do you have any question? No question. Then let's let's continue studying this. In the following example, we are going to read this conversation. This is a conversation practice between Angie and Philip. And Angie says, Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? And Philip answered, Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to... I'm sorry. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. New vocabulary in this small conversation. New words. Is there a word that you don't know? No, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Then let me ask you a couple of questions. Exciting. What is the meaning of exciting? Emotional. Yes. And what about the team? Take me out for dinner. What is the meaning of that phrase? Take me out for dinner. Okay. Um, cenar. Cenar, okay. Me a cenar. It's great. So it's so embarrassing. The last sentence there, it's so embarrassing. What's the meaning of that? Embarrassing. Avergonzado. Okay, es penoso. avergonzado. Penoso, penoso. It's so embarrassing. Okay. What has been the most embar embarrassing situation you have been? <laughs> es lo más penoso que les ha pasado. <laughs> <laughs> In español. <laughs> ah, okay, tell me, tell me. Eh, mi hija tenía como cuatro o cinco años y había nacido el niño de la vecina y la niña lo quería ver y cuando lo vio le dijo qué feo tu niño. ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was an embarrassing situation. <laughs> I can invite you, right? I can invite you. <laughs> okay, so kids are so, so bad, right? Thank you, anybody. What is the most embarrassing situation you have been ever? Anybody wants to share? Ah, I see, les han pasado cosas. I can see. I can see. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. Eh, cuando estaba cruzando primer grado, eh, mi maestra me dijo, niño, qué chapandongo que ha hecho usted. Me? Y eso me quedó, me ha quedado para toda la vida. Eh, <risa> siempre recuerdo eso. Eh, y eh, todos se burlaron de mí porque, o sea, había copiado la, la lo que habían escrito en la pizarra pero no se entendía nada 
y entonces okay. me propuse a mejorar las cosas. Ok, excelente. Bueno, well, it has a happy ending, right? Or a positive. Tomó lo, tomó lo positivo de la situación. Ok, that is the attitude. Thank you, Manuel. So, chapandongo, that is a very good work. <laughs> Traduzcamos en inglés, chapandongo. Ok, en el sentido de this. Two volunteers to practice in this conversation, please. Uh, I need two volunteers to practice. Anyone? <clears throat> I want to participate. Me, oh, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Marlon. So we are going to listen, Carmen and Marlon, in this conversation. Oh, Carmen, you are going to be Angie. And Marlon, Philip, can you please start? Okay. Okay, teacher. Are you going to do anything exiting this weekend? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It is August night Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the uh, wearers are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> okay, wow, that was excellent. Thank you so much. A victory applause for you. Uh, nice. Now let's see. Yes, um, let's see. One, two, three, four words. Can you help me to pronounce the following words, guys? Let's second. I'm going to mark here. <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, how do you pronounce this word? Exciting, exciting. Exciting, exciting. exciting. And this other one. Fabulous. 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 In this month, how do you pronounce this month? August. 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 Thank you. And the finally, it was this one. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Ya cayó. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Excellent. It's so embarrassing. Okay. The rest was excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, anyone? Any two volunteers to practice in this conversation? Just two more. Anybody? Alejandra Maria, thank you. I have Alejandra and anybody? Volunteer, one, two, three. Can salve la clase? A brave person to say the class. One, Me, two. Ah, thank you, Mauricio. Thank you so much. So, Alejandra, you are going to be Angie, and Mauricio, you are going to be Philip. Can you please start? Okay. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Uh, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August, night Sunday. August. So, what are your plans? Well, my my friend Kayla is going to do, to take my out for dining. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the way there, I probably going to be sing happy birthday to me. Is so embarrassing. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. That was excellent. And applause for you. Very good job. So now this work, uh, let's see, dinner, dinner, we say dinner in this part, dinner. Dinner. dinner, and this one is so embarrassing, embarrassing, it's so embarrassing. 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 Okay, much better now, thank you. Then, 
Okay, now it's time for you to practice. Share your weekend plans with your classmates. So get prepared, at least three weekend plans. Prepare por lo menos tres planes que tenga para la Tres planes que tenga para el próximo fin de semana. Three plans that you have for the next weekend. If let's see, for example, this one. Yes, okay, eat pupusas. Then you say, okay. I am going to eat pupusas. Do exercise. I am going to do exercise. I am going to go to the church. ¿Cómo no going... para que no estaba? I am going to visit my family. I am going to visit my family. I am going to cook. I am going to the park. I am going to go to the park. I am going to go shopping and play soccer. I am going to play soccer. Those are just ideas, right? So you can tell another one. So let's share with your class. I am going to plans for the weekend. So it's, I am going to eat pupusas, I am going to do exercise, I am going to go to the church, I am going to visit my family, I am going to cook, I am going to go to the park, I am going to go shopping, I am going to play, stop. I am going to work, me va a tocar trabajar. En Alejandra María tiene sus oraciones en el chat. This weekend I am going to go to Cerro Verde. I am going to go to the church and I am going to buy pupusas. That's great. Bueno, nos invita. Quiero tres de queso y una de loroco con queso. <laughs> she is going to buy pupusas to the class. Great. <laughs> ¿De qué van a querer ustedes? <laughs> Se las estamos Milo encargando. <laughs> <laughs> ok, dice María. Bueno, are you ready? ¿Ya tienen sus oraciones? Bueno, espero que estén listos. Any volunteer to start? Three plans that you have for the next weekend. Utilizando going to. Dice, I'm going to. I am go to the shore. Excellent. You have one. I am going to the church. Tell me, have one. Dos más y se puede ir a descansar. Excelente. Anybody? I am. I am. I am going to visit family. Excelente. I am going to visit my family. Manuel tiene una. Excelente. So, del mío, Manuel. Anybody? I am, going, I am to... going to take a rest on weekend. Excellent, Marlon. Thank you. It's going to take a rest. Perfect sentence. Son tres. They are three sentences. Vamos hasta las once de la noche hoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play soccer. Excellent, Carlos. I have Carlos, Delmi, Marlon, and Manuel. I am going to eat pupusas. Excellent, Melissa. I am going to eat pupusas. Perfect sentence. Anybody? I'm going to cook for my wife. I am going to cook for my wife. That is an excellent plan. Okay, excellent. Le cocinará a mi esposa. Okay. Tomemos nota. <laughs> 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 and then I have the sentences on the chat. Let me see. I have the sentences uh, of Raúl Edgardo. I am going to go to play soccer. I am going to go to to what? To eat uh, sopa de pata, delicious. And this weekend I am going to go to a pizza. I am going to visit the family, and I'm going to have classes. I'm going to have classes. It is Ana Lucia. Ana Lucia sentences. Anybody? Anybody? We still have two minutes. I am going to drink a, a beer. Oh, I am going to drink a beer. Okay, that is a good sentence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Están todos I invitados. am going to drink a coffee. I am going to drink a coffee. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. I am going to 
the church? I am going to go to the church. Perfect sentence. Thank you. Anybody? 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 I'm going to travel to another country. Excellent plan. I'm going to travel to another country. I just try on Llavero. Um, <laughs> anybody? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, hi. Uh, Marlon, can you please repeat your sentence? I going to uh how to say it? traer teacher? Bring. I am going to bring 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 a, a plaque a surtracing. I don't know how to say bring a and your car a identification. Plaque. You are going to okay. go to Sertrasen uh -huh. to get your uh, car identification. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent sentence. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. Marlon has I already have... completed the three sentences. Congratulations. You are the first one. Tell me, Carlos. I want to do I going to do the eat pupusas. I going, I going to, I going to go uh, see movie. Okay, excellent. So you say, I'm going to watch a movie. I am going to eat pupusas. And I go to, I going to play basketball. I'm going to play basketball. Excellent. That's great. Ojalá gane su equipo. Good luck. <laughs> Very good. And anybody? 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 The last one. Just the last one. Quien salve la clase? Say the class. Anybody? Teacher. Yes. I am. I am. I am going to do exercise. Excellent. I am going to do exercise. Very good. And on the chat, I have the next answer. I am going to watch TV on weekend. Excellent sentence, tell me. I am going to watch TV on weekend. Very good. Okay, guys, do you have any question about tonight's class? Question, how to make sentences using going to and how to make questions using going to. Tomorrow, we are going to continue talking about the future tense using going to. Uh, no question for tonight? No teacher. Okay, that's great. Now let's let me remind you about the platform, right? So remember that you need to start working on that. It is important that you start working on the platform. Okay, so you can start yes. working on that. Raise your hand if you have already yes, worked teacher. on that. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. See you, a teacher. Good night. 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 Thank you. Good night. Bye. Don't forget Good about the teacher. platform work. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night.